what's happening neurologically when we are experiencing burnout or overload amid constant change? First of all, it's exactly the same as chronic stress. Change causes for many... So let's be clear. There's some people actually thrive on change. If you thrive on change, you're probably going to jump out of a helicopter or jump out of a perfectly good plane or something like that as well. But you no, know, those people who are the extremists in that context, let's put that to one side at the moment. Many people just, uh, the act of change causes stress. And if there's lots of stress going on, they build on top of one another. And so there's a thing I know we've talked about this before, we call it allostatic load. What is the total mm-hmm. load of stress that you're having? So if you're worried about your job and you're worried about you know, what's going on in the world and you're worried about this and you're worried about that, it all builds up. And it's unfortunately, it does impact many of the processes that are going on in the brain. It impacts it both long term and in short term. Cortisol's around in the brain. Cortisol being around in the brain for a long while tends to make the brain a little less efficient. So you'll feel more tired. And, but let's flip it over now. Say, okay, well, that's all happening. We know we can explain why it's happening, but what can I do about it? The same things we've talked about as managing stress. Get outside, get up, walk, light exercise, be with other people, laugh, humor. And I know we've talked about having one of our sessions on humor. Humor is immensely powerful for resetting our brains. So all of those sorts of things, sleep, manage mm-hmm. positivity. If you say gratitude things in the morning or the evening, keep doing that. Identify that special place that we talked about where you've got an image of something that's great. Get out into nature. Now, I know you don't like walking on bare feet in the woods, but it's... Definitely with no shoes on. I got to have shoes on, Phil. <laughs> But any of those things that we've talked about in the past, they all combine together to manage any of the stress that you can. Again, change what you can. You can actually do the laundry on a Sunday afternoon and fold it. Get into a habit pattern of, and that I wasn't trying to say you should do that, by the way. It was, I was using... Oh, I using, using <laughs> yeah, I need to. 